here's our computations and unit conversions lesson on application questions dealing with flow rates. So a flow rate is just a volume per unit of time. And in build BCS, you know, you will be dealing with this a fair amount. So this is why we have to go through these application questions. Our first example has that we're pumping water into a reservoir and our rate of pumping is 1080 cubic feet per hour. And this is a imperial unit, feet an hour, and we want to express this rate in a metric system in liters per minute. So let's use our unit ratio technique to do this conversion. So again, we'll start with our given measurement in units. So we have 1080 cubic feet per hour. And remember, we have to change the volume, cubic feet, to liters, and we have to change the time, hours, to minutes. Let's look up some equivalences to convert our given units to our desired units. So as I mentioned, we're going to need one for time, for hours to minutes, and we're also going to need one cubic feet to liters. So recognize this is from our volume category and this is from our time category. And I'm mentioning here that, you know, this is from our tables of equivalences and general knowledge because, you know, most of us know that there's 60 minutes in an hour. If we don't, we can actually look it up if we need to, okay? So let's multiply by our ratios to get rid of our unwanted units and go to our desired units. So I'm going to get rid of my cubic feet first. So I'll use my first equivalence and I'll write the ratio with the liters in the numerator and the cubic feet in the denominator. I'll then get rid of my hours and write my unit ratio with the getting rid of the hours in the numerator and the minutes in the denominator. We'll do our dimensional analysis to make sure that we do have liters per minute as our final units. So let's see how they cancel out. So my feet cubes are gone. My hours are gone and I'm left with liters per minute, which is exactly what I wanted. And this dimensional analysis is quite important to do before you do any calculations, because if your dimensions are wrong, well, then your calculations will be wrong. So it's always a good check. Or it's always good practice to do dimensional analysis first. Let's gather all our numbers and do the calculation. So there's our 1080, our 2832 in the numerator, and our 60 in the denominator. And there's our liters per minute. So our final answer to a whole number is 510 liters per minute. Here's another example for flow rates. We have a reservoir, and it's designed to have a surface area of 100. And remember, HA is hectares. If water is drained at the rate of 150 cubic meat per minute, we want to express that rate in hectare meters per day. Now, before we go ahead with the problem, let's sort of review some of the units here. Well, day and minutes, imperial system time, no problems there. Meters cubed, metric system, we've seen that before. Hector meters and hector, we haven't really dealt with them before, but you might not remember what a hector is, but it does mention area here. So area is a measure of hectares. Meter cubed is for volume. And then if we have hectares and meters, or he well, hectares is area, meters is length. So area times length, well, there's volume. So we know that this is a volume, a unit of volume, and this is a unit of volume. So just, you know, if you're not familiar with some of the units, uh, try and take a bit of time to understand the category they come from and what they mean. So once again, let's start with our given rate, 150 cubic meters per minute. So again, we'll have to change the cubic meters to hectometers, and we'll have to change the minutes to days. So let's look up our equivalences. When we do that, we can see that there's one hectometer is 10,000 cubic meters. Watch out for this one. It's a very common error for us to make and just drop one of those zeros. So it's 10,000 or 10 to the fourth cubic meters. Now I haven't specifically looked up for one for minutes today because again that's something that we might want to you know just have from general knowledge. So let's put in our unit ratios. So I want to get rid of meters cubed first. So there's my hectometers per meter cubed. And now for the minutes let's deal with the time. And I have, well, I know that there's 60 minutes in one hour, but I do want to go to days, so I'm going to go from 24 hours to one day. And these last two unit ratios, you know, that's just sort of general knowledge. We should all know there's 24 hours in a day and there's 60 minutes in an hour. 
Let's note how our given units cancel out. So our meters cubed disappear and turn into hectare meters. So my volume is taken care of. My time minutes disappears and turns into hours, but I don't want hours. So then my hours disappear and turn into days. So now I'm left with units of hectare meters per day and my unit, my unit dimensional analysis is complete, looks okay, and now we can go ahead with the numbers. So there's the 150 times the 60 times the 24, all divided by 10 to the fourth, and that's our, that's our hectare meters per day. So our final answer to one decimal place is 21.6 hectare meters per day.